welcome back to SEV Videos. I'm here with Philippe Kleinfelter, and he's been gracious enough to have us over to his home and studio, and we're ready to take a look at what you got. Okay, come on inside. How did you actually spool all of that metal in there? Is that a on that torch piece? on one hand and a hammer in the other? Keep it at red heat and keep beating. Mm -hmm. I, like I said, I invented. Nobody taught me anything, so I taught myself everything. So in, the, in reality, in the long run, that gets you further because you've invented your own ways of getting there. And, and I think, I was telling the art students this, is if you make generations of tools, in other words, if you make a tool to make a tool to make something, it gives you, it, it gives you, a, it puts you further out there because mm -hmm. you're able to make the tool to make something to make something. And, mm -hmm. and I think people need to realize that, that you're not, people shouldn't be set in the tools that exist. Tools are to make tools. And so I, I think there's a freedom there that's not taken care of, advantage of. So tell us what this project is about. This is the Asian American Resource Center, and it's an art and public place project that my wife, Sun Young Chang, and I have received. Mm -hmm. Um, it is based, it's called Lotus, so it's based on the flower of the lotus. It has seven large granite petals, and then it has a tile center with a granite fountain at the center. And it will be complete in a week or so. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you have some of the components here we can take a look at? I do have some of the components here. Fantastic. So this is the centerpiece. From what yes. I understand. Now, this is the fountain, basically, so the water will come out of this piece and flow into this piece, and I'll add holes onto this. There's a ring-shaped basin underneath where it'll just recirculate. Mm -hmm. And the ring-shaped base actually hides all the water? Correct. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the only difference here, I'll have scallops around these guys, probably also here, and then this gets bullnosed and polished to a mirror, just that edge. Just a fantastic amount of detail, and the water just bubbles over real Correct. smooth. We don't want anything, we don't want a fountain, we just want it to flow real gently. This is a huge piece of stone. How much does this thing weigh? This weighs realistically 57 ton, mm -hmm. and it was sized so that I could move it, because in Texas, road limit is 55 ton per eight foot of bed. Mm -hmm. So I quarried a cube, knowing I could move that, but I took the corners off, which brought it to the weight I could move. At last, I had to do it twice because this one had a flaw, and so we rejected it and got mm -hmm. another one. But the good size is, because I broke the corners off at the quarry, the quarry kept the corners, and that's what we used on the current project, which is the Asian American Resource Center. So this gives us a scale for the, for the lotus flower. Exactly, so. 10 feet long. Mm -hmm. And this piece is 10 feet long? Correct. And what was this originally going to be for? For the Fort Worth Fountain. Mm -hmm. For the big, for the, the big sphere. Big sphere, correct. So. And because that sphere, the the way it was made was that uh, the base of it was only 48 inches diameter. So structurally, it was a cantilevered structure. This is Texas gray granite. It's the only fine grained granite in Texas. Perfect for monuments. Easily carved. Can take fine details. But it's from Llano. By about 1930, they had shipped every single piece out of the States, out of Texas. And now it's no longer commercially available. And these are from the old stash window stash of East Austin, mm -hmm. probably dating to the early 1900s. And notice how, because it's fine-grained granite, you only have to drill three inches to pull a crack. I but see, if you so go it's... to big-grained granite, you have to drill all the way through the stone to split it. That's the advantage of fine grain granite. It's That's just a small crack. And look how perfectly that split. It is a nice split. It's, well, it's the plane, the exactly. plane of the face looks like it's, it was yeah. actually hand carved. So a lot less work. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a three quarter inch hole, four inches versus a one inch hole, the length of the thing. Mm -hmm. And that was probably the main advantage was that it was so much easier to split. A lot more control. Well, a lot mm -hmm. less work. Mm -hmm. You know, those it takes one guy to drill a 10 foot hole He'll drill two at a time. He has them on a track. Mm -hmm. But still, it'll take him 20 minutes to drill, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to drill those two holes. So here it takes 20 seconds to drill one hole. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful stone. There's no it question is. why it was all depleted. Yeah. So now we're stuck with just the pink granite. That's right. Well, Philippe, your house, your studio, and everything you've done is so 
absolutely amazing. And uh, we're humbled by being allowed to come by. So thank well, you so much. You're very sweet, and I appreciate your comments. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. We did immensely. Thank you. I'm Doug Keating with Structural Environments. Until next time.